Hey team, today we are doing an easy vegan tray bake. Now, whether you're vegan or not, this is a perfect way to get some color into your daily deliciousness. And so here we have an array of different colors, different vegetables. One of my favorites in the cauliflower, which is oh so versatile, beets, Spanish or red onion, carrot. And to be honest, this dish is super versatile. It is showing you how you can roast a whole lot of color and have a good sort of a meal prep ready for X amount of days for your week. So, simply guys, get yourself a roasting tray. Now, usually you would have it on a flat base. We've actually run out of our flat sheet pans, as they're called. So, I'm using a, a, what, a six inch short hotel pan. This is Chef Talk. So first thing we'll do, let's get stuck into some chopping. Now you can chop in any way or form you'd like. So we've got here some carrots. Biggest thing I always talk about is when chopping, you want to have a good base of support. Let's get down low for this one. As you can see, this guy doesn't exactly say stable. He wants to run around a little bit. So, believe it or not, that's actually a lot sturdier. Obviously, if it was shorter, it'd be easier to work with. But as you develop more skills, it becomes second nature. So. Just like this, I'm gonna work my way down and make, I feel like little carrot chips. And then, that's actually the sturdiest it's gonna be because the base of support is wider than the height. Just like that. Then eventually you can put two together and work two. And eventually you can do three, and so on and so forth. Now I didn't peel, just in case for those who are taking notes. And the reason being, is on the skin here, you have all these beautiful micronutrients and the secret to nutrients is there's more flavor. That's where everybody wins. Next, we have some tasty beets. Now, what I would definitely recommend is trying to keep your board as clean as possible. So what I'm actually gonna do, simple trick like this. Get yourself some parchment paper. This thing will save yourself having any stains. You can also naturally use a peeler, but I love working with knives. So just like that, you can start chopping again. So I'm just gonna halve it, just like that. And then I'm gonna have some little semicircle cuts. I think beets to me are one of the most interesting, beautiful, textured, and patterned-like ingredients found. Look, you can actually see the intracellular flavor going on there. All beneficial things. We all love that. This is not my party trick, but it's not bad. So, scrunch all this up. Not much stains at all. Everybody wins. We also have the lovely red onion. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Full of tastiness. Obviously very good for you. And the last ingredient, humble cauliflower, oh so versatile. So, you know, these guys, they may be white, but they're full of so much goodness. They're so versatile. You'll be seeing how versatile when we create things like cauliflower rice, purees, all forms of goodies. Today, I'm just gonna roast it off, and I'm actually just gonna use half, because tomorrow I've gotta to use it for something else for you guys here at Charlie Street. So I've just halved it, and to simply remove the florets, I just go around the edge, just like that, and then work my way towards the inside of the stalk. Just like that. Fun fact, the stalk is bound with plentiful goodness, and I'm gonna use that tomorrow. I actually use this in the cauliflower rice, so that does not go anywhere. I like to go to small sizes, because I love those crispy edges. Just simply scoop and drop. Just like that. And so all we're gonna do, splash of the good old Evo olio or olive oil. And then a sprinkling of salt, just to bring out that natural moisture and bring out some of the flavors we all love. Give it a nice toss. And that's a simple vegan sheet pan. We have a few other ingredients to go, but this next tip is all about timing. So. When you're roasting, get your ingredients. They're gonna take the longest out first, which are these guys. Let's go downstairs to the preheated oven. So I've got this guy at about 375 degrees. Here we go. And you're gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. You wanna see the cauliflower start to be golden, the carrots to be soft, the red onion to be a little bit charred. See you soon. 
Who's ready to see some veggies? I am. Okay, so, yes. Look at this. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at this golden edge, golden edge, charred. Hello happiness, color. All right, time to put you down, close the oven, and then we're gonna put a sauce on this guy. Up we go. I'm happy. I'm extremely excited, but I'm definitely happy. Check this out. If you look at this charred guy just here, look what's underneath him. That guy's super soft. She's beautiful. And this is the brilliance of allowing aeration to occur in your oven. Anyway, that is a really simple thing to do. There's a few things to finish off though. We've got here some toasted nuts. I'm just gonna drizzle that or sprinkle that over the top. It's time to plate up. Now, without trying to mix it too much, I still like it to kind of have their own individual flavors. You can serve this up as a side, as the main attraction. Have it with some greens, some quinoa, some rice. The secret to this one though, is a really good sauce. Over here, we have a lemon tahini. I love this so much. We make it in bulk here at Charlie Street. It's one of my favorite recipes that I've been doing for a number of years. Now tahini is just ground up sesame seeds. And then lemon juice, nice acidic touch, just brings out everything, you know? So, just lemon, tahini drizzled on top and there you have an easy sheet pan vegan dinner perfect for a weeknight meal add some quinoa if you want a little bit more fiber in your intake rice whatever you wish but to be honest look how colorful this bowl is i'm dan churchill guys i'll check you next week and always holler if you can Think of a question, recipe, or nutritious tip you are after. Check you, my friends. Bye.